So here we've got a Schaefer Interceptor. This is the flagship of the Schaefer range for self-propelled. This is a 5,000 litre, 36 metre machine. It's got sliding axles, uh, hydraulic sliding axles, adjustable from the cab. It is like all the rest of the interceptors in our range. They, we run a Deutz engine. It's a 6.1 litre Deutz engine with 180 kilowatts. That's around 240 horsepower. We run a Rextroff drive system, which drives like a CVT, like a CVT tractor dare I say Fent Vario. Starting from the front we have got a New Holland forage harvester cab that's what we fit all of our machines we repurpose a New Holland armrest and cab interior to suit us as a sprayer this being top of the range it's got climate control heated and cooled seat passenger seat with a fridge everything you could possibly need to spend long hours in the cab. Here we have our Schaefer filling area this is a key bit of real estate on a self-propelled sprayer this is where you spend all of your time when you're not in the cab for filling washing out if you're doing it from outside obviously inducting chemical on our e-spec machines we do everything through the screen that you can see here we've got at the top in plain english our current plumbing states we're currently commanded to spray we've got digital tank levels for our main tank and rinse tank these pressure sensor weigh cells in order to determine the amount of volume in the tank so this system gives us the ability to precisely fill the machine with the correct amount of chemical and water or fertilizer in that case we also can do automatic dilution of our uh, main tank, automatic washing and uh, any other features to make it as simple as possible. We've got a nice 40 litre induction hopper here with twin optics giving about 80 litres of 80 litres a minute's worth of suction so plenty of suction capacity to be able to, for two people if necessary to be tipping the chemical in and washing them out. Filling speeds on our Schaefer sprayers, we fit a 3 inch pump as standard that will fill on a 3 inch coupling like this at 800 litres a minute all day long. 2 inch coupling we reduce down to about 600 litres a minute because that's physically what you can get through the pipe. But many manufacturers will call that a 1000 litre a minute pump. I'll call it an 800 because I could prove to you on farm all day long we could do that. Whenever we operate the induction hopper, that then reduces the amount of filling speed down to about 100 litres a minute, 150. So you've got time to get your cans in, but you can also pause the liquid coming in so you can just operate the induction hopper with no risk of meeting your maximum filling level. Chance to get cans in for those big T2 mixes and so on. So the induction hopper you can see there is lifted and loaded on a hydraulic ram. Shame on Schaefer, same on Schaefer, self-propelled and trailed hydraulic ram it's just easier you know lugging that up and down all day long as of our trailed our e-plumbing system uses can bus valves these give direct feedback that they've made it to the right place with all electric plumbing people are always got that concern is it in the right spot if it's saying on there it's in spray the valves have been sent a message to move and they've actually come back sent a message back to the controller saying i've got to where i need to be We've got our hand washing facilities here above the induction hopper, so you can wash your hands after you've been connecting liquid fertilizer pipes and so on, because uh, we can get nice and clean before we get back in that cab. First thing everyone talks about on, on sprayers nowadays is boom leveling. It's something that's become massively important. It's always been important, but it's the first thing that people talk about, like I said. So on a Schaefer sprayer, this is a G series boom. This is a 36 meter machine. We love airbag suspension. The actual chassis of the machine starting on boom leveling will start from the ground up. Obviously tires are massively important. Then we move on to our suspension, which we like airbags. Best suspension going, even a hydraulic suspension system relies on hydro pneumatics. You've got an accumulator that is actually acting like your airbags. So we've got airbags there for, uh, for our suspension. Moving up to our, our boom, our actual back frame is controlled on airbags. We've got two airbags just mounted on that gray bar holding the back frame. That's what our boom rides on. So boom leveling wise, this machine is running a NORAC UC7 active roll system. And the main benefit to that is it's proportionally controlling the back frame at all times. We run a pendulum system so we've got a top bearing that a whole boom's hanging on. We've then got those airbags working below that just nudging either side to keep the boom as we need it to be. Then for actual in independent inclines we run variable geometry rams or incline rams you can see mounted just on this first fold here they're actually a lot bigger than they used to be. We've been doing this boom since around 2004 and that 
ram's capacity is more than doubled. The idea of making the ram bigger is not to make it stronger, it's because controlling oil flow, larger quantities of oil is far easier to do than controlling small amounts of oil. So by making that ram bigger, lower pressure, more volume, easier to control. We run damper circuit, we run hydraulic rams as dampers. There's a very simple system, basically relying on two rams in a, on each circuit joined together with a restrictor. The idea of all of our back frame control is having it the same now as it is in 10,000 hours time. With those airbags, as long as they've got air in them, they're gonna give the same spring rate. The same with the hydraulic rams as dampers. As long as they've got the oil in them, the rest of it, it's exactly the same. The worst thing for a sprayer is you buy a sprayer now, you go out and use it. We design them to last 10, 15,000 hours quite happily, but no one ever thinks about the long-term wear, dampers and so on. So we've designed this around making it last for you so you don't have to rejuvenate it years down the line. Every bearing and seal on the boom is sealed. We do run grease nipples in certain places on the boom, but every one of those is 100 hours. Nothing's a daily greaser, because we know in those busy periods when you're doing 18 hours a day, taking half an hour out to do your maintenance isn't ideal. But normally, because of the weight of the windows in the UK, once every 100 hours, you've got time to go over the machine and give it a grease up. So this particular machine is fitted with our hydraulic adjustable track width. So standard interceptors have adjustable track width, but that would be done moved in two inch increments by removing bolts and pins. For contractors and customers where they're wanting to vary the width throughout the season, we run the hydraulic adjustable track width, which this machine's fitted with. So you can see that's why it's got some extra grease lines and so on. Basically, each ram in there, very similar to our e plumbing system, gives feedback to tell us exactly where it is, that it's got to the right point. But you can see, even going to slide and axles, the actual kingpin post on our, on our steering system is made of billet steel. So that whole chunk, T-shaped chunk, that's billet steel, not a box section fabricated. So as strong as possible. Obviously that adds a little bit of weight, but we're putting weight where we want it, down low by the wheels. Right, so this is the key, key real estate on a self boiled sprayer. This is where the operator spends all of their time. So this is a New Holland FR forage harvester cab. We repurpose the New Holland armrest and obviously re-decal it, re-change the joystick uh, base and so on, all to suit us. What we've actually got after that is this is our dashboard so this is where it's showing our tank levels our cruise speeds our fuel ad blue 4 2 wheel steer all of our key settings and then the other unique thing of how we operate the Schaefer sprayer is the terminal that you use we make our machine like an isobus ready tractor so then any make of GPS system can be fitted. The auto steer valves are all isobus on the isobus on the circuit, so any screen can be fitted. So we can fit John Deere, Ag Leader, T Jet, Topcon, Raven, you name it, we can fit it. The benefit for us with that is that you've already got a preferred precision farming supplier to your farm. You know, if you're running John Deere tractors, Green Star might be the, the option you choose. In that case, from that point onwards, we put the screen in, we make sure it's set up, all our dealers are trained on every make of GPS so they can support you, but your operator is already used to it. They're already jumping straight into it, they know how to create a field, they know how to do their boundaries, they can pull everything straight across. Also, in the future, if you wanted to change this machine from being Topcon to Greenstar or Topcon to Raven, it's only a plug and play issue changing. We're just adapting adapter harnesses and within a couple of hours, you could have this running on a different system. In this cab, we've got our climate control, which is all runs through our screen as well. So you literally adjust your temperature, that will adjust the uh, climate control through our screen, very similar to what you'd be used to in the tractors and so on. It's just a bit easier than having cluttered screens up there. It's all where you're used to. Comfort wise, leather steering wheel, heated and cooled seat, passenger seat, even with a fridge, everything you could possibly need to spend long hours at busy times of the year. As you can tell, this Schaefer Interceptor, along with anything else we make, is made to be as efficient as possible to give you the best efficiency for your farm. Made in Great Britain, as we've said all along, along with as many components as possible. There'll be a machine like this at cereals, 
Look forward to seeing you all there. Come and see me and Joe. See the kit up close and personal and get the best.